Hey guys, as we come back, I, I want to, for today's mini message, look a little bit more at verses 1 through 4. Let's reread those and then we'll pick back up. It says, One day Dinah, the daughter of Jacob and Leah, went to visit some of the young women who lived in the area. But when the local prince, Shechem, son of Hamor, the Hivite, saw Dinah, he seized her and raped her. But then he fell in love with her and tried to win her affection with tender words. He said to his father, Hamor, Get me this young girl. I want to marry her. Now we talked yesterday. If you don't watch yesterday's uh, mini message, really encourage you to go back and watch it because it's kind of setting everything together. Jacob wasn't where he was supposed to be. Was supposed to be there in this place. God sent him. God told him to go somewhere else. Then Dinah naturally wants to go and make friends. I mean, I, I get it, but the moral standards and what could happen in some of these Canaanite towns was truly ridiculous. Basically, an unattended female in these towns apparently was in a lot of trouble. You needed to have a male with you. Otherwise, you did not know what could happen. It was disturbing. It was unreal. I mean, I would... I have a daughter. I would fear for her in this kind of situation and would do everything I could to protect her. But when you look at this, I'm not sure Jacob knew. I don't think Jacob was necessarily a negligent father in this situation. I'm not certain he knew Dinah had left. I think this may have been a situation where the young lady snuck out of the house, you know, which teenagers can tend to do. And so I don't necessarily think Jacob would have sent her into this situation. Now, these were just foul people in this town that were that that did this to her. I imagine she probably thought I'll be safe, I'll be okay. But she wasn't. See, when you look at the Hebrew word where it says, went to visit. Some translations use the phrase, went out. It's the Hebrew word, yatsah. And it bears a sense of impropriety or deceit or sneakiness. So apparently she went out in an improper manner without her parents knowing what was going on. And then here's when this son of Hamor, Shechem, he takes advantage of her, and he seizes her, and he rapes her. And then he finds himself attracted to her. This is all very strange. So it was not a spiritual love. It was not a, a romantic love. I think this guy, basically, it's a lust situation. And he tells the father, get her for me. Get her for me. So it's just a broken culture overall. And this young lady made a bad decision that then opened her up to these predators and the awful people that they were. And so, you know, it goes back to the idea of we have to constantly guard ourselves from evil, from both even within us, and from outside, and it, it's it's brutal. Uh, and the way it will be handled after this won't improve the situation. And we'll talk about some of that tomorrow.